welcome to Pilgrim Community <coughs> Church. We are so glad that you were here this morning. Welcome to our second contemplative service, where we just pause and slow down. We are just inundated with so many distractions, and we're trained not to pay attention. So this is the time for us to be still and just settle in. Everything in our world says not to question, not to go within, not to trust your inner self, not to take stock of what's going on. So let us take a moment to detach from our endless doing, 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 and going, going, going. And to be still this morning. So often the thoughts are in control of us and us not in control of our thoughts. So there will not be a sermon today. We will be listening to wonderful music and we will have a time of thoughtful meditation. Amen? Amen. So before we begin, let us just all take a deep breath and release what was clinging to us as we got ready to come to church this morning. Again, let's just take a deep breath. And let us begin worship. I sing as I arise to day. I call.
Bible informs us in Matthew 11, 25. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Each person has tea lights. Think about someone who has offended you this week. Think about someone who has hurt you in the past. Think about a time and place that injured your spirit. Think about something deep in your spirit you are resentful about. It. Never forget the three powerful resources you always have available to you. Love, prayer, and forgiveness. It is never too, <clears throat> it is never too late to strengthen the foundation of faith. There is always time. With faith in the Savior, you can repent and place your forgiveness. There is someone you can forgive. There is someone you can thank. There is someone you can serve and lift. You can do it wherever you are and however alone and deserve your clean heart. Please come forward and place what you like to do.
on your goodwill for there are and will be limitations on your mind. But try to spread thoughts of goodwill to people you don't even know. Not just people living around you, all kinds in all directions, east, west, north, south, above and below, out to infinity. May they find true peace. 
send waves of goodwill to those on the margins, to those on the borders, to those risking life and limb to cross, send waves of goodwill to those charged with marshalling those borders. Send waves of goodwill to those behind bars, to those who have been victims of crimes. Send waves of peace to those who write the laws. Waves of goodwill to those charged with enforcing those laws. Then bring your thoughts back to the present. You've got the body, you're sitting here and breathing. You've got the mind thinking and aware. Think about the breath and then be aware of all the breath as it comes in and goes out. When you keep your thoughts directed to the breath, that's mindfulness. Now open your eyes, turn to a neighbor, find a particular neighbor to turn to them. You gotta turn to them. This is <laughs> find something, find a partner. Everybody needs a partner. Everybody got somebody they're looking at? All right. So now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to look at the face of your partner. Notice the shape of their face the shape of their nose, the curve of their mouth, the texture of their skin, the way their eyebrows frame their eyes. This, this person is made in the image and likeness of God. Look at their hands. Think about all the things that those hands have seen the people that they hugged, the hurts and the scrapes. These are the hands of God. Now look at the skin of your partner. It senses the changes in the temperature. It reacts to danger. Notice the color. Notice the imperfections. Think about how easily that skin can be broken. Think about how easily a bone can be fractured. Think about all the ways we are capable of hurting each other. Tell that person, I pray you will be protected and honored. We, each of us, are holy, made in the image and likeness of God, made for goodness, made for love, and made to be in communities. So now let us rise to our feet if you are able and greet each other, giving the sign of peace today, if you can. <laughs>
Joan, I almost said, let me get the name right, she has, she has, in her book, Breath of the Soul, says the point of prayer is not to spend our prayer lives begging for ourselves, but to turn us into Jesus figures who answers the prayers of others. Prayer is meant to change our self-centeredness into community. That having prayed that our Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, we will spend our lives doing something to bring it. Prayer opens us to ourselves, it exposes our weaknesses, it enlarges our vision of the purpose of life. It instills to us the word of God. It unmasks our own needs. Let us read together our congregational response. Merciful God, may the instrument of your mercy give me the courage to do your will so that others may live. Amen. So now let us prepare ourselves for prayer. We will sing, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. John will play it through once, and we will sing it through three times.
that of tenderness and warm acceptance inspire and enable us to be filled with God's own compassion, tenderness, gentle care, and hope so that we can be God's people who are caring for our brothers and sisters within God's great family. God, we come with humble hearts as we pray for our world. We pray for those who find it so easy to hate and demean others. May their hearts be changed. We pray for this country that we will have the will to turn away from racism and homophobia and all that destroys people. We pray for those who have been criminalized for seeking safety. Lord, we pray for those without clean water. We pray for those in need of health care. And we pray for those visited by death. We pray that they may find comfort. And we pray for those daring to speak truth to power. May they be uplifted and protected. And now let us pray in the silence of our hearts those things unspoken. <laughs> 